Good morning, everyone. I'm Melanie Marcel, the founder of Society, and I'm very happy to join you virtually today. Uh, I was actually a smart map angel uh, in charge of social justice for the project. And the reason I'm here only virtually is because I am at the moment in the US uh, because I won uh, a prize, which is a Green Award for social justice, actually. Uh, when we are talking about social justice in relation to responsible research and innovation, it is actually an intertwined uh, issue. It's an issue that is uh, talking about um, innovation, of course, but also sustainability, ethics, uh, and in the industrial context, um, what we call corporate uh, CSR, so corporate uh, social responsibility. In the industrial context, uh, and when speaking about responsible research and innovation, it is extremely important to be aware that you can actually create working economic uh, model, business model, with uh, the fact that you also answer to a social and environmental problem. That is really important to be aware of that, to be able to put in place this kind of solution. We like to present it as a rocket with three stages. Uh, the first stage of the rocket is actually something that companies are doing uh, a lot today. It's, it's business as usual, and it's what we call sustainable innovation. It's when you try to to have uh, impact that are less negative in a sense. So really you are mitigating uh, what you are doing that is not really good for society. So that would be, for example, trying to reduce your waste, trying to reduce your energy. Uh, it's what we can call sustainability uh, as usual. Uh, but the idea, if you want to innovate and really to use responsible research and innovation to, to, to realize this idea of social justice, it's to go to the, the second and the third stage of this rocket. Uh, the second stage is actually creating what we call a positive impact. And it's mostly product driven. You really need to change the way you do your innovation and the way you do your research and development to be able to create this kind of product. The first stage is actually the, the best one. It's what we call inclusive in innovation. So you create positive returns, but actually for everyone. Uh, a good example of that in the industrial context uh, is the one, for example, of Target. Uh, Target is a company uh, that is a flooring company, so they design floors basically, and they were very good at sustainable innovation. What they were doing, for example, uh, was a cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach where uh, mostly when their floor were, were used up, uh, instead of going uh, into a, a garbage, uh, it will actually return to uh, the, the, the company and they will reuse most of it into a new floor. So that's sustainable innovation, really reducing your negative impact. But at some point, the R&D department of Target uh, wondered how could we actually create positive return for the society. And they decided to tackle a huge problem, which is the problem of falls. When you are older than 65 uh, years old uh, and you fall on the floor, it can actually be extremely dangerous and it can even be fatal if you stay on the floor for a very long time without assistance. And so what they decided to do is to create a connected floor that will actually uh, understand the patterns of walk and that will recognize when someone falls on the floor. Uh, and so it can actually alert uh, the people that there is a problem in this room and you, you should check what is going on. What is interesting with this example is that Target decided to tackle a problem that they, uh, they never created in the first place. So they are really bringing something positive with this product. They are actually uh, solving a problem uh, that was existing and that was not their problem in the first place. Um, but something even more interesting is that they gained a lot of value from this project. Uh, for example, their collaborators were much more motivated working on something like that uh, than the usual uh, business as usual projects. Uh, that's the first thing. But also they innovated 
uh, they entered into this field of connected objects and they had to create uh, new skills uh, in electronics, in big data, and etc. Uh, because they were first um, very competent in chemistry in order to, to make floors. But here they had to really uh, add new skills to their team. Um, and they developed a product that is uh, actually something that you can sell uh, and that's extremely interesting. It's really combining a, a, a profitable business model with a solution that answer a social issue. So the idea is to really uh, be cognizant of this possibility for industries and businesses that you can have through this uh, mindset of responsible research and innovation you can really create uh, added value for your company and you can really create innovation that is what is really interesting about the smart map project uh, it's that this whole project was about showing to companies and to industries that implementing responsible research and innovation is not something uh, that you should be afraid of. On the contrary, it's an opportunity for you to create new innovation, new businesses, and things that make more sense uh, for, of course, the consumer, but also for the whole society. Today, we are seeing the rise of a new kind of entrepreneurship that is based on scientific and technological innovation, but really in order to answer social and environmental issues. Uh, for example, we can see uh, entrepreneurs that are creating drones for reforestation, or robots in, in order to help autistic children, or synthetic biology uh, to fight against poaching. So these kind of entrepreneurs are actually asking the question of what is the meaning of our innovation? And by asking this question, they are actually disrupting uh, this, this whole field of research and of industry because that's what uh, the consumer, but more largely society, uh, is looking for. So I think what is key today is to be able for an industrial, of course, to create collaboration with this kind of actor. And we have to invent new model of open innovation. It is no more enough to create a collaboration between an industry and a research institute and label it as open innovation. That's really something that is extremely usual and that is no longer working as well in order to answer society's issues. Uh, today, what we need to do is to have all actors around the table, of course industrials and of course research institutes, but also startups, NGOs, uh, social entrepreneurs, uh, citizens, etc. And that's really, this, this notion of collaboration is, is something that was very important in the SmartMap project and that's the way to move forward. Uh, as an example, only in France uh, you can see that Air Liquide, which is a big major industrial, designed a challenge that was not a challenge around the scientific questions, but they actually asked research institutes and startups uh, societal uh, issues, societal problems, and they wanted answers to these kind of societal problems. Uh, on another note, with Society, the company I created, uh, we worked with uh, an industrial from the agro-business, which is Diana Group, and we launched a program of open in innovation, uh, which was geared toward finding 50 participants from all backgrounds all over the world in order to collaborate together to solve the issue of industrial waste uh, and that's really the future for responsible research and innovation how can we reinvent the model uh, of open innovation as you have a, a day of work ahead of you I would like to invite you to think about uh, two questions the first one is how can we create model of open innovation geared towards the public good and answering social issues for and with citizens in order to create better innovation within our industries? And the second one is how can we create real impact and measure that impact? Uh, and I'm talking of course of social impact. Um, I wish you a great day, a great final conference, and I hope that 
all of us uh, in this room and the one that are not in this room uh, will never ever try to just tick boxes, but that we will be engaged and that we will be passionate in order to give meaning to our innovation. Thank you very much.